Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about uh, the process of loading data from your local um, local machine, local laptop into Snowflake using an internal stage. Um, so we're going to show, just if you're getting started, you want to just load a CSV file into your Snowflake database, how to go about doing that in the previous videos, which I'll probably link into the um, this particular video, we showed how to use Azure Data Factory, for example, to load data into a Snowflake table where we use an external stage. Um, but this sh uh, will show you how to use um, basically Snowflake's like internal name stage to be precise and to load data into, into Snowflake. So basically what we'll cover today uh, is going to be some of the prerequisites that, that we need. We need to install Snow SQL, we'll walk through that, uh, how to go about creating a stage, how to load uh, a file into that stage from your local drive, um, something about a file format. We'll talk about what a file format is and uh, why you need it and how to go about creating it. Uh, it's something you need to kind of you know map your data into a Snowflake table. Then we'll <clears throat> load data from basically stage to a table uh, inside Snowflake using that platform. So a couple of key concepts. Um, we're really talking about a name stage. So like I said, there's internal stages and then there's external stages. Within internal stages, there's a couple of uh, different concepts. Um, there's a name stage, there's a user stage, there's a table stage, um, like every table, a uh, table stage is every table in Snowflake gets uh, its own staging area. You could technically um, kind of uh, load, uh, um, use that to load data as well, or every user gets their own staging area. You can use that as well, but obviously there's limitations there. With an uh, internal name stage, you know, it's a location where you kind of specify data and then whatever users that have privileges to that name stage can use the data that you upload <clears throat> into any table, right? So you're not restricted, like in a user stage, only the user that, that has their stage, only if you load data into the user stage, only that user has access to it. And you're not limited in the table stage that, okay, whatever I load into the table stage can only load data into that table, right? So an internal name stage is just a, it's a most flexible, a method to load data where um, you just load a file into a name stage. You can load it into um, essentially any user who has access to that object, that name stage, can access that <clears throat> data loaded in that name stage, and they can load that to any table. So that's what we're going to show here. From a local uh, CSV file, we're going to load it into an internal name stage. Then there's also a concept of a file format. <clears throat> we basically um, are going to create a um, um, you know, name file format that, that's going to describe the data, right? Because in the CSV file, Snowflake table doesn't know what the structure of that CSV file is, right? You need to have a definition, like some metadata where you define, hey, how to read that file, right? Is, is it a CSV? Is it comma separated? Is it, you know, tab? Is it, uh, you know, pipe delimited? All those attributes have to be defined. <clears throat> You know, and we do that in any ETL loading, right? Like anytime you're gonna copy data, you gotta give some metadata about how to parse that file, which we're gonna talk about that here in terms of a CSV file using a file format. So with that, let's jump into the demo. So first uh, uh, prerequisite here is you need Snow SQL, right? Um, so I've got Snow SQL here. Um, and uh, basically, uh, you know, and the way you access, if I kind of exit out of here and just go to command line, um, so you can just, uh, I'm using Windows. <clears throat> so I'm just using my, my command prompt here to, to access Snow SQL. Um, so the, like I said, the prerequisite, you need to install it. So you just go to kind of search, download Snow SQL, that can give you different options to download it for, you know, uh, Windows, Linux, and, and, and so on. Um, you know, you can, um, you know, do that installation. It's very simple. And once you do that, once you have it installed, you can uh, come in here and uh, essentially there's certain commands to connect from your command line into Snow SQL. So that command is you Snow SQL dash A and you give your actual account name, right? So in my case, 
the account is um, here. So if I am in my account, uh, it's actually, I'm in, um, so if you're in the classic console, the account is actually this piece here, right? It's that account.central-us.as0, that's, that's my particular account. So you give that account name here, and then you got to give a username, which you, you specify after dash u, which in my case is Seha Consulting. And then it will prompt you for a password, which I will give. And there, you're in SnowSQL now. So once you're in SnowSQL, uh, you can go ahead and uh, essentially, um, you know, go into the particular, you know, write any SQL like you would you would normally. Uh, but we want to use SnowSQL to execute some put and copy into commands that'll actually take the load data into the name stage and then from there copy it into a table. So I'm going to go into the database that I'm going to be working with, right? So which in my case is a dev database. So when you're using SQL, uh, SnowSQL, you just have, if I just click enter without doing the uh, this, this colon here, it won't work. So you got to add a uh, semicolon that that will um, will actually execute the command. So so I do that, and now I'm in the dev database you see here, but it's in the public schema. I want to use my um, raw schema that I have created. I click that, and I'm in the raw schema. So now um from here you know as i said you need to create a named stage so i already have one created but i will log into now you can do that programmatically as well you can give a command to do creation of a name stage or a file format but those steps of creating a name stage and a file format i will actually do via the gui in the classic console um so if i go into my Account. Um, I'm actually going to go to my classic console. Um, I'll go into my databases. So the 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 name stage is really at the database level. So. I'm going to go into my dev database to create my uh, name stage. I've already got one here called demo. I'm going to create one uh, called demo. And, and you know, these, the, for, for an internal name stage, you use Snowflake Managed. Uh, click next, give it a name. So I'll give it demo underscore stage. Um, so, oh, oops, I actually gave it, I didn't give it a, a schema. So actually, let me... Um, Go ahead and update that and see if I can. Um, no, it won't let me update it to the, the schema name here. Um, so actually, I'll drop it and recreate it. Um, I will create a name stage here, demo stage, and actually, I'll create it in the, the raw schema. So I'm going to create that name stage here. So now at this point, I've got my. Um, um, demo stage, name stage created. Now I can go ahead and load the data that I have locally in my local file into um, this name stage, right? So, so I've got some commands up here that are already written, which is, uh, you know, the first command, the put command is actually what kind of loads the data into the, um, into the name stage. And the copy command will actually take that data from the stage and load it into my to my table, this demo CSV table. But the first step is putting it into um, the name stage. So it's a simple command. You do a put file, you know, colon slash last, and then after the C here, the C drive, that's the location where, where my uh, file is. C, you know, the the all the way here to the CSV. This is the path from your local machine. So this is. From C onwards, this is your local machine's path. And then at the at symbol, and then after the at symbol, this is the actual name of the um, uh, stage I just created, the database.schema.demo stage, which we just created. Let me copy this over and I will um, paste it here. 
do your uh, semicolon hit enter and this will take maybe about um, about two minutes. So I'll pause the video and come back. So the file took um, about 99 seconds to load here. Um, so we're, we're back here. We can see that the file got loaded. To check if it's in your the files in your name stage, you can use the list command and then um, you know, write out um, the actual name of the stage, and um, you know it'll just give you that hey you know the file got uploaded here uh, using that list command. So now that we have the file here, we need to do a couple more steps. We need to create the file format and make sure you know we have a table that that we're gonna actually load the data into, right? So let's go back into our, the classic consoles um, interface. And I actually have a file format I've already created, right? Um, and in this file format, I've got, um, if I edit it, basically it's a comma separated. This is the name of the, the file. The column separator is, is comma um, and pretty much, um, you know, it's, it's, it's any kind of, um, like, you know, normal kind of metadata about, about how to parse a file. Do you want to skip line, um, any header lines? You know, I can say, you know, yes, I want to skip this line, the first line, because in my data, the first line actually has, a um, the titles and whatnot, um, the, the headers and whatnot. Um, and pretty much that's about it. So I'm just modifying that existing, um, um, you know, demo CSV. If you click the create, I mean, you know, it's the same options, right? You give the name, you define the schema, which is raw, the type is CSV, you know, what's the comma separator, do you want to skip your new line and whatnot, but I'll cancel here because I've already got this one created. So the second piece is we need to have a table we're gonna load data into. So I've already got this data, um, uh, you know, device demo that I've already loaded data into, you know? So I'm actually gonna do a quick, um, you know, a uh, kind of a quick, um, create a new worksheet actually. And I will do um, a quick query from that. Um, and then I'll run uh, now 10, um, run this. So this is what my data, data looks like, um, you know, in this table, um, essentially, but I'm gonna actually go ahead and, um, you know, truncate um, this table so there's no data in here. And we can see the process of actually loading data, you know, into this table. Um, so if I do some star, so yeah, so I've got the, the record ID, patient ID, the, the device, um, uh, some device ID, the date time where the record you know was recorded, the type of record uh, from that device, and actual value from there, right? So these are the columns, and they match actually what's in the um, what is in the file itself. So because um, in the file format, we don't really specify what the uh, what the names of the columns are. If you saw. In the file format we just gave, hey, how are you gonna uh, parse the file? That's all we really gave. The it'll just the, the file format will just use every time it, a comma appears, and it'll just you know parse that file out. The, the column definitions that we have that are at the at the table level. So now let's go back um, and use the copy command. So now we want to use a copy command, which we want to copy into device demo, which is our table we just showed from our demo stage, which is the internal stage, the file that we have. And uh, we want to use a file format, you know, dev, raw, demo CSV, uh, and load that data into our table. So let's put that here. And this will also take a, a few seconds, maybe 20, 30 seconds to load. So you can uh, pause and resume in a, in a couple seconds. Okay, so we see it took about 25 seconds to load the load the file 
which is um, even not bad. It's about eight million records that got that got loaded. We see that the the copy command succeeded. Now, if we go back into the table and see, so you know, I'll do another run, and yes, you see that the data got got loaded in here. Um, we'll do um, count on here. It loaded about um, about eight million records, I believe. Yep, so about 8 million or so records got loaded, about 25 seconds, which is not bad. So, um, yeah, that's that's how you put together, you know, if you're playing around with SnowSQL, uh, you know, use SnowSQL to just load some data. Um, you know, these are kind of fairly simple steps to follow. Thank you.